Good morning, happy Sabbath, and happy December. Uh, it, we're running a little bit behind on our December boxes, so if you haven't received one yet, you should be receiving them by the end of this weekend. So make sure to check in with us if, like, come Monday, you're like, I haven't gotten my box yet, and I really want it. Um, but I am so happy to be here. Happy December. Um, I am so excited for these boxes. It's such an amazing uh, theme we're focusing on for December, and I absolutely love it. So for the month of December, we're going to be focusing on our spiritual gifts. The spiritual gifts that, that Jesus gave us, along with the spiritual gifts that we can learn to grow into, and the spiritual gifts that we can use for our church. And every week we're going to be making a new Christmas ornament that will help emphasize that week's spiritual gift or what we're learning about spiritual gifts. So for week one, we've got week one right here, you'll have an orange paper, and we're talking about the ultimate gift that was given to us, which was Jesus coming to earth, sacrificing himself for our sin. He gave us such an amazing gift that all he wants from us is to use the natural gifts that he gives us to share with others. So in your bag, what you're going to find is a little thing that looks like this. This is what you're going to do for your connection. Um, this is we got some grape juice and a communion cracker so that you and your family can gather together and have communion together. I love having communion with my family. It's such an amazing time. It's such a spiritual time where we get to sit together and we go through the foot washing and we do the bread and the cracker and we, you know, follow along with the parts and the pieces. And it's so amazing because as we know, the grape juice represents Jesus' love for us in that his blood he shed for us and that we drink it in order to honor him. And then, of course, the bread represents his body and how he gave that to us and he was nailed to the cross for us so that we may know a life without sin. So that's what today's is. This is about communion and about the gift God gave to us. So I'm not going to do mine right now because I'm going to do mine later with my family. But I encourage all of you to do it with your family as well. To gather together with your moms and your dads and open your Bibles and read the story of the uh, Passover feast with the apostles and Jesus and how amazing it is. And spend time talking about it. Spend time talking about what it means to you. Uh, now for our creation, like I said, we're going to be doing a different church ornament every week. So for this week, you've got this nice little wooden round ball and what you're going to do is you're going to need to get a marker <clears throat> and what i want you to do <laughs> is you're going to draw a picture on here you're going to draw a picture of our church or maybe a picture of our church family or maybe you want to write something like my church is special because it loves me or maybe you just want to write a very big happy birthday jesus on it or if you're little Grab some markers and just color it for so much fun. So I'm going to draw a little church. I'm going to try to draw a little church. So I got the one side, two sides. Drawing a church, like what you'd see in like a picture, a very generic church, not our church specifically, is actually kind of easy because it's kind of like drawing a house. But then you add a steeple. And if you want to, you can try to put a little bell in the steeple. So I got my windows and my door. And there you go. There would be my little church. So I'm also going to put, um, I think I'm going to put Jesus loves me because he does because he loves us so much that's why we celebrate communion to remember how amazing his love is for us so after you get your ornament done you'll have a nice little piece of twine what you can do is you can thread that through the top and tie it up and then you have a fresh ornament to go on your tree just like that okay so I am so glad to be here. I hope you guys are having a really amazing and happy Sabbath. Know that I miss all of you. 
And we've closed up for today, so let's close with prayer. Can you fold your hands and close your eyes? Dear Jesus, we are so grateful for the love you give us and for the amazing sacrifice you did, you made for us on the cross. And we celebrate communion for you and with you, and we hope that you just bless all of us. Bless all of us at home, bless us all of us at our church, all of us are in the whole world, and just help us keep us safe safe during these troubled times. We love you so much. In your name, amen. Bye.